हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन स्टार टू डेल्टा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन प्रॉब्लम्स इट इज अवर कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्रीवियस पार्ट दैट इज द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्वेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस ओके सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन सम प्रॉब्लम्स रिगार्डिंग स्टार टू डेल्टा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड डेल्टा टू स्टार ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज स्टार कनेक्शन एंड वॉट इज डेल्टा कनेक्शन इन डिटेल्स एंड द रिलेटेड फॉर्मूलाज फॉर दिस अ स्टार नेटवर्क कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ डेल्टा नेटवर्क एज वेल एज अ डेल्टा नेटवर्क कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू स्टार नेटवर्क फॉर दैस we we require some formulas for example if we are replacing this r1 r2 and r3 with these resistances which is lying between these two points so we will have some formulas for example this okay it is a star to delta transformation where we are having formula for this resistance this is our star network which is drawn here by dotted line and this is equivalent delta network and the formula for equivalent delta network is uh, for this resistance is R1 plus R2 plus R1 into R2 divided by R3. How to remember it? So in between A and B, see here that R1 and R2 are directly connected to A and B respectively, and therefore their addition plus addition uh, their multiplication in numerator divided by third resistance. Same will be applicable here in between BC. Okay, so it is R1 R2 plus R3 divided by R1. Uh, i'm sorry i'm repeating the formula it is r2 plus r3 plus multiplication of this two r2 into r3 divided by third resistance r1 similarly here multi uh, addition of this two plus multiplication of this two again divided by third that is r2 so this is the equivalent formula now we will use it for the equivalent uh, star to delta transformation here the problem is convert the given star network into equivalent delta network now see here that all the resistances are having same value it means that it is a balanced star connection so we here i will draw balanced star connection again now the resistances are of 6 ohm i have already provided the formula for the conversion but right now i am explaining here so we are having these three resistances let these three points these nodes are a b and c respectively okay now in between a and b or b and c or in between ac all the resistances are same therefore equivalent uh, combination of the other resistances that is delta will also be same uh, so let me draw some resistances in between them them so this is in between a and b this is in between a and c and this is the third one or the second option that you are having is to directly draw a b and c there these are our respective node at a respective position don't change the position of nodes and directly draw the resistances over there this is the second option that we can do okay now what we will do we will use the formula now formula uh, for this we are having a 6 ohm resistance so here in our star network in between a and c that is so let this resistance b r ab okay so as it is a star uh, balanced star network the equivalent uh, delta connection will be also be balanced that is r ab r bc and r ac all these three resistances will be same i mean that it is r ab which is in between ab in between ac it is r ac and it is r bc okay all these resistances are having same value and the formula for this is what is the formula so addition of these resistances so in between ab you can see a 6 ohm resistance plus 6 ohm resistance plus multiplication their multiplication in numerator divided by third resistance which is also of 6 so we will get here 18 ohm so each resistance each replaced resistance will be of 18 ohm so a balanced star network is converted into balanced delta network by this formula r multiplied by 3 so here the r of 
star network was 6 and therefore each resistance will be of 18 ohms 3r is the solution for this now uh, in this solution we can delete or we can erase the work of star so in this way a uh, star network can be converted into delta but this was about the balance now let us talk about a uh, another circuit which is not a balance means the resistances are of a different value so in this case uh, see here that even though it is not looking like a star network for a new student but uh, it is a star network because because it is having one point where all three resistances are connected so you can identify this as your neutral point or we can say that a star point okay so here it is our first point let it be point or node it is a this is second node you can uh, name it as b and look at this this is this all this is a single line which is short circuited it means that it is third node c so you can convert the given t network this is called as t network basically because it is having t shaped so it is here a b and c now we want to calculate the respective value of r a b so uh, this is our star network let me write the value of, of resistances here it is in between a n so this is our neutral point in between a n we are having 18 ohm resistance here here in between b n we are having 21 ohm and in between c b c n we are having 9 ohm so these are the three resistances and we will convert in it into a delta network how to convert so here simply write the point mark the point as it is that is nodes a b at the top and node c is here okay and now draw all the resistances okay now let this resistance is r a b let it be r b c let it is r a c now we will calculate the respective values so let r a b equal to r a b how to calculate it so it's very simple c in the star network in star network you are having a and b point directly connected resistances are 18 and 21 so 18 plus 21 plus 18 multiplied by 21 divided by this 9 ohm so what we are getting we are getting this r a b as 18 plus 21 plus 18 into 21 by 9 okay so it is 9 to r 18 it will be 42 plus 21 63 plus 18 so in this way we will get r a b equal to 81 so this resistance is of 81 ohm now let us calculate the second resistance r b c so go into the star network here in between b and c this is a 20 ohm and 21 ohm and this is a 9 ohm resistance so it will be 21 plus 9 plus 21 into 9 divided by third resistance that is of 18 ohm now calculate it okay so we will get rbc equal to rbc equal to 40.5 Now let us calculate the last resistance that is R A C. So let us move into uh, the point A and C. Here it is 18 ohm plus 9 ohm plus 18 into 9 divided by 21. So 21 that is the third resistance. So multiplication of this uh, sorry addition of this two plus multiplication of this two divided by third one. Now calculate it we will get R A C equal to 34.71. So, this is the third resistance R A C. You can write the respective values here and uh, thus a star network can be converted into equivalent delta network or we can say that a T network can be converted into a pi network. Okay, so, it is your example number 2. The next is uh, delta 2 star transformation here you can see that this is our delta network 
which is indicated here by dotted line and we have to convert into equivalent star network and the formulas for this is multiplication of these two see here for this resistance it is multiplication of these two that is r1 into r3 divided by addition of 3 okay similarly here multiplication of these two divided by addition of all these three and for this resistance it is multiplication of these two divided by addition of 3 so formula is very easy to understand uh, to remember now let's move toward the balance uh, balance uh, star, uh, delta uh, delta network because all the resistances are same here and we are converting it into the equivalent delta network so let 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 us write here or we can draw delta network first okay so i am drawing here the delta network as it is as it is a balance all the resistances are having same value now to convert it into given del, uh, star network what we have to do, do we have to write here the neutral point okay not necessary you must mark it uh, but let it be neutral point n and let us draw the three resistances here okay now let these nodes be a b and c okay so it is just a b and c like this and therefore the resistances are a b r a and it is r c okay now let us calculate the value now all as it is balance uh, delta network equivalent resistances star star resistances will be having same value that is r a r b and r c all the resistances are of same value okay and it is equals to multiplication of two okay so uh, let us start with any point let it be a so uh, to a this 30 ohm resistances are directly connected okay so this is 30 multiplied by 30 divided by addition of all the resistances as it is balanced it is 30 plus 30 plus 30 okay so what we are getting here 13 to 30 in numerator in denominator it's 90 and therefore we are getting here 10 ohm so each resistance will be of 10 ohm so a delta network can be converted into star so extra this these points are now i am erasing it so thus a star uh, delta network is converted into star you can write the respective values of each that is 10 ohm in this case otherwise also a balance uh, delta network can be converted into balanced star network by the formula r by 3 so we were having 30 ohm resistance divided by 3 which is equals to 10 ohm resistance in equivalent star that i have already explained in my pre pre previous video if you haven't uh, seen that video you can watch here by clicking on the i button or you can see the link in the description now next example is this one now convert the given pi see here that instead of using delta we have used the here pi network now this network is even though if it is looking something different but it is a nothing but a delta network uh, I, I i am explaining here see here that we are having three points let it be a okay let it be b now see this is short circuited means it is a single line with a node c now let let me draw these three points first a b and c okay a b and c so in between a and b c a 6 ohm resistance is there in between a and c a 18 ohm resistance is there so let it be 6 it is 18 and in between b and c c b c okay it is a 12 ohm resistance so in this way we are having three resistances okay now we are converting it into the equivalent uh, star network so previously i have explained first method here you can use the second you can directly convert it into a star network but what you have to do is to mark the same nodes a is here b is here and c is here okay with a neutral point because neutral point is added in our star connection so one resistance will be here 
in between these neutral and a b and c respectively so it is r a let it be r b let it is r c now let's calculate the value of r a first so for calculation you must go into the equivalent delta network now go to the point a here these two resistances are directly connected to a so it is 18 multiplied by 6 in numerator and in denominator its addition of all three resistances so it is this okay so you will get 18 multiplied by 6 over uh, yeah, 36 uh, this is 36 okay now 6 6 or 36 okay 6 3s are 18 therefore we get r a equal to 3 ohm now let's calculate r b so you can go here b at b 6 ohm resistance and 12 ohm resistance are directly connected so in numerator multiplication of that and in denominator again addition of all three resistances that is 6 times 12 over 36 12 threes are 36 3 twos are 6 therefore it is 2 ohm r b is equals to 2 ohm you can write the respective values here r b equal to 2 ohm r a what we got is 3 ohm now let's calculate r c the third resistor now go to the point c here 12 ohm and 18 ohm are directly connected so 18 multiplied by 12 divided by 18 plus 6 plus 12 which is equals to 18 times 12 over 36 so again 12 3s are 36 3 6 are 18 so we get 6 ohm rc equals to 6 ohm in this way a pi network or a delta network is converted into equivalent star network so in our next video i will explain the calculation of equivalent registers here the problems will be specially focused on calculation of equivalent resistance for a larger circuit where we may use the star delta transformation so we are continuing this part number 5 in our next video thank you